Hello students, how are you all? I hope so you will learn fine. Myself, Hira Lodia from JMP English Video School and I am your science teacher at So kids, we completed three sections of chapter number three, Adaptation in a Living Study. What I explain you in these three sections? I explain you about adaptations, about habit, both definitions, then after adaptations to environment. What are the adaptations of animals according environment? Then I explain you about so many animals like terrestrial animals, then deserts, desert animals, then after polar region, and the best, uh, animals which live on land, that type of animals are called terrestrial animals. Animals which we, which can survive in hot weather as well as without water, without any amount of any water. So that type of animals are called desert animals. As we all know, camel is the best example of desert animals, right? Then after there are so many snakes and lizards or lizards are also there, which they can live in desert also. They easily can survive in what and cold weather, weather, right? Then after polar regions. There are so many areas like North and South Poles are covered with ice throughout the year. So there are so many animals which adapted themselves to survive in that particular atmosphere like polar bear, then penguin, musk ox, right? Then after aquatic animals, animals which can live in water, that type of animals are called aquatic animals. Then after amphibians, animals live on land as well as in water. That type of animals are called amphibians, right? Then after arboreal animals, मतलब animals most मतलब they spend most of their time on trees. That type of animals are called arboreal animals, like monkey, opossum, chameleon, right? Then after aerial animals. These we all know, right? Animals that fly on air, that type of animals are called aerial animals, right? So in today's session, I am going to explain you about adaptations for food. मतलब ऐसे animals हैं जिसके food को देखके we categorize them into some categories. Like animals, some animals only eat plants. Some animals eat only flesh of other animals. Some animals eat both the things. Okay. So carnivores, herbivores, omnivores. And then after, I'll explain you about parasites. Then after scavengers. Then after I'm going to explain you about adaptations for protection. We human we have hands and legs that we can protect ourselves, right? Even animals also have hands and legs. But they have some kind of special features are also there. From that, we easily can protect themselves from their enemies, right? So these kind of things that I am going to explain you in today's session. So now, adaptations for food. Different animals eat different kinds of food, right? There are so many different different animals are there. As same as like that, they are different. So their food habits are also different, right? To help them eat their kind of food, they have special kinds of body parts such as mouth, teeth and nose. Based on their food habits, they have some kinds of well developed body parts also. Some animals are like uh, herbivores animals, they eat only plants. Right? So they have a uh, strong teeth, right? Some are eating flesh of other animals, so they have a front sharp teeth. They have sharp claws to attack on prey, uh, prey right? So, some, all the animals have a different different features according to their food habit. Done? Now, herbivores. Herbivores animals or herbivores, we can, matlab, herbivores, R-O-U-S, matlab, herbivores, and B-O-R-E-S, matlab, herbivores. Both the things is equal, but according to this era, we 
we need to pronunciate herbivores. We go are as herbivores. Okay? Eat uh, herbivores animals eat only plants. Animals, where most of the animals uh, which eats only plants, they are called herbivores animals. They have sharp front tip which help them to cut the plants. Most of the herbivores animals have a sharp front tip. So they easily can able to cut the grass and other plants, right? Flat and strong grinding teeth at the back of their mouth help them to chew their food. Cows, horses, deer and rabbits are herbivores. But the front teeth are strong, back teeth they have a flat teeth. All herbivores have a back side teeth they have a flat teeth. So they easily can chew all the raw plants, all the raw grasses. Right? So if I can ask you to give some examples of herbivores, example, herbivores animals, you can answer any animals. They, they eat only the plants like rabbits, deer, cow, buffalo, horses. So these are the examples of herbivores. You can write your own examples also, but it must be correct. Yeah. Then after carnivores. <coughs> carnivores animals or carnivores eat the flesh of other animals. There are animals which mother, they only eat flesh of other animals. They are not eating any plants or else anything. Right? They only like to kill other animals and they are eating the flesh of that animal. So that type of animals are called carnivores. They have sharp teeth and claws for tearing out the flesh of their prey. They have so much sharp teeth and sharp claws also there. So they easily can catch the animal and with the help of their claws they can fadi the animal. They have a sharp pointed teeth. So with that, with that claws, and with that sharp teeth, they easily can tear the flesh, right? So they have sharp claws and they have a sharp front pointed teeth are also there. Birds such as eagles and hawks also eat flesh. There are so many different birds are also there. They are also considered as a carnivores because they are only eating flesh of other animals. They use their sharp claws to catch and hold on their prey. Uh, birds? Really birds are also carnivores? Yes, some birds are also carnivores. But how they are killing other prey? They have a sharp claws. With that claws, they easily can catch any prey. And for few minutes, they can hold that prey. Right? They have a hooked beak to tear the flesh. They have such a hooked shape beaks are there. With that beak, they easily can tear other animal, other animal ko easily maar sakti hai, right? Wolves, tigers, lions, eagles and falcons are carnivores. These are the examples of carnivores animals. Clear? Now, omnivores. Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and other animals. There are so many animals out there which eat both their plants, plants as well as flesh of other animals. That kind of animals are called omnivores animals. They have both sharp front teeth for tearing and strong flat molars for grinding their food. They have such they uh, they have a so strong teeth are there with the help of front teeth. They easily can tear tear any flesh and molars, but the ke jo flat molars are there. With the help of that, they easily can chew the food, right? Humans, dogs, bears, sparrows, and crows are omnivores. Even we human beings, we people, we people are also considered as a omnivore, right? Because there are so many people are there. They are eating fish, chicken, right? So these all the things are considered as a flesh only, right? So if they are eating both the things, it means they are considered as a omnivores, right? Here yeah. now parasites. 
Listen it carefully. Yeah? It's, this is a new for you, parasites. The organisms that live on or inside the body of other organisms are called parasites. There are so many organisms are there. And like they are living in other animal. Ek animal ke andar ho hai, right? So that kind of animals are called parasites. Pigs, fleas, leeches, bad birds and lice are parasites. Can I give you one best example? Lice. Uh, we pronounce lice in Gujarati as a jhoom. 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 Matha ma padi jai, right? living organism है तो वो हमारे head में तो हमारी body में रह लेती है वो survive करती एक में से दो दो में से चार चार में से मतलब वो अपना growth करती रहती है तो it's it is a kind of a parasite कि एक organism दूसरे living organism की body में रहता है तो that kind of animal is called parasite clear the organisms from which parasites derive their food are called but the parasite to quit living organism the body may not tell you. But where they get food from? Where but the usko food can't send it. So choose for food food provide that us uski body ko kya bolenge post. Kya bolenge kids? Post. Tap form is a parasite that can live inside the body of a host, such as human beings, dogs, and pigs. Parasites cause harm to the host. And the parasites जो होते हैं जो दूसरी living organism की body में रहते हैं, उसको food वहीं से मिलता है, right? तो वो जो living organism है, वो क्या हुआ? Host हुआ, right? मतलब वो हमें harm भी पूरा पहुंचा सकता है. They cause harm to us only, right? कभी हमारे head पे lice हो गए होते हैं, तो कितनी itching आती है, कितनी हम itching करते हैं तो हम रैशी हो जाते हैं कभी कभी तो इतने इजी कर देते हैं कि कभी कुछ ब्लड नहीं करने लगता मतलब वो हमें हार्म पहुंचा रहे थे इवन टैग फॉर्म्स भी होते हैं जो मतलब ऐसे भी वॉम्स होते हैं जो कोई भी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म के अंदर रहते और उसको हानि पहुंचाते रहते हैं पैरासाइट्स से बचने के लिए वी नीड टू ईट ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ bitter some kinds of uh, like karela uh, ye sab kuch hota hai ya aapko thode thode time ke liye khana chahiye then fenugreek ke seeds aate hain you can eat that also to aapki body mein kabhi parasites aayenge then clear now last one scavengers scavengers are the animals that eat dead animals there are few animals are that which matlab they feed on dead animals matlab some well, carnivores animals are the types of animals they only hunt other animals and then they eat they, they are not eating any dead animals so bara bada animals who kabhi ko nahi khate but scavengers are the types of animals they eat well, they can feed themselves from the dead animal koi bhi mara hua animal hai usme se wo kha lete vultures hawks and hyenas are scavengers most of the scavengers have extraordinary sense of smell and excellent eyesight. Hyenas have very strong jaws to crush bones. They have a such a nice sense of uh, humor. Like they easily can smell any uh, smell anything. Or with the help of their eye, they like they also have an excellent eyesight. Use ki eye itni achhe the ki bahut dur tak koi hota to wo dekh lete. और उसको इवन स्मेल भी इजीली कर देते हैं राइट तो उसके थ्रू ही उसको पता चलेगा ना कि यहां पे कोई एनिमल मरा पड़ा है राइट तो उस तो ये ना से काइंड ऑफ एनिमल व्हिच हैव स्ट्रांग जॉज टू क्रश बोन्स इवन उसके पास जो जो होते हैं बहुत ही स्ट्रांग होते हैं और वो मतलब वो इजीली उसको क्रश कर देते हैं मतलब इजीली वो खा सकते हैं राइट सो दीस टाइप ऑफ एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड स्कैवेंजर्स क्लियर we completed our two days to uh, first topic right now let's begin second topic adaptations for protections i told you there are so many animals are there they have some kind of special features from that feature they easily can save from their prey right 
सॉरी फ्रॉम देयर प्रीडेटर क्लियर प्रीडेटर मतलब कि कोई भी हंट करने वाला होता है और जो खुद शिकार बनने वाला होता है वो प्रे बन जाता है राइट एनिमल्स हैव डेवलप्ड वेरियस वेज टू प्रोटेक्ट देमसेल्व्स फ्रॉम देयर एनिमल्स एनिमल्स आर आल्सो सो स्मार्ट दे आल्सो एडॉप्टेड देमसेल्व्स टू एडॉप्ट सम फीचर्स ऑफ just because they want to save from their enemies right some animals such as buffalo fish birds and elephants stay in groups to protect themselves buffalo and elephants form a circle around their young ones to protect them there are some animals are there they live in a group right so there are uh, if any other animal want to kill them or else they want to hunt them so they won't be able to hunt that particular animal because they are living in a group group mein rehne se uske upar koi bhi attack nahi kar pata hai kyunki uske upar attack karega to sab log saath mein milke uske upar attack kar denge right if they want to save their baby animal to usko ek particular circle hota hai matlab wo circle banate hain aur baby animals hote hain wo uske andar usko rakhte hain right because some baby animals don't have that kind of sense humor उसके पास इतना वेल डेवलप्ड सेंस ह्यूमन नहीं होता है क्योंकि वो बेबी एनिमल यू आर बेबी किड्स तो जितनी सेंस आपके पेरेंट्स में होती है आप में होती नहीं होती है सेम एज लाइक दैट बेबी एनिमल्स को प्रोटेक्ट प्रोटेक्शन करने के लिए वो उसके सराउंडिंग में सर्कल बना देते हैं क्लियर सम एनिमल्स सच एज डियर एंड कंगारूज हैव स्ट्रांग लेग्स दैट एनेबल देम टू होप एंड रन वेरी फास्ट टू एस्केप देयर एस्केप फ्रॉम देयर एनिमल there are so many animals like deer they have long and strong uh, legs are there so they easily can run fast from that from that enemies apne enemies se fatafat se bhagne mein wo help karte hain apni matlab uske piche bhi koi animal bada hota hai to uske legs to lambe hai to it can run faster than that prey right so this is a kind of a feature only to save from its enemy animals such as rhinoceros and buffaloes have horns for their defense there are so many animals like rhinoceros and buffaloes they have a horns singra so with the help of that horns they easily can protect themselves they easily can fight with their prey apne prey ke sath wo easily fight bhi kar sakte hain राइट सो उस तरह से वो बच सकते हैं हार्ड शेल ऑन देयर बॉडीज वेन दे सेंस डेंजर दे हार्ट दम सेल्स इन दैट इन साइड ब्लड शेल टोर्टोइस एंड स्नेल्स है सम हार्ड कवर इज आउट साइड वेन दे फील सम काइंड ऑफ डेंजर दे जस्ट हाइड एंड इन द मतलब वो हाइड हो जाते हैं उसके नीचे अंदर घुस जाते हैं जिसकी वजह से वो इजीली बच सकते हैं वो जो आउटर कवरिंग होती है वो बहुत ही हार्ड होती है तो उसमें कुछ भी कोई भी एनिमल डैमेज कर सकता नहीं है क्लियर अ पॉर्क्यूपाइन हैज शार्प स्पिंस ऑन इट्स बॉडी अदर एनिमल्स डू नॉट अटैक्ट इट ड्यू टू द फियर ऑफ इंजरिंग इट्स सेल्फ पॉर्क्यूपाइन इज काइंड ऑफ एनिमल व्हिच इज टोटली कवर्ड विद स्पिंस स्पिंस मतलब काट एक ऐसा एनिमल है पॉर्क्यूपाइन कि वो पूरा एनिमल कांटों से बना होता है तो बट नेचुरल स्पिंस है तो कोई भी एनिमल इफ एनी एनिमल अटैक दैट पॉर्क्यूपाइन इट माइट हर्ट आल्सो उसको हर्ट हो सकता है उसको लग लग सकता है वो इंजर्ड हो सकता है राइट विद दैट फियर नो बडी कैन अटैक दैट एनिमल क्लियर देन आफ्टर सम एनिमल्स हैव बॉडी कवरिंग्स दैट मेक देम Look similar to or merge with their surroundings. ऐसे भी animals है जो अपनी surrounding के background में से color change कर लेते हैं तो उस वजह से वो identify नहीं होते हैं अपने prey को This is called camouflage. Animals which can change their color according to their surrounding to save from that predator. Sorry, prey. Predator. That kind of animals are called camouflage. Clear? Such an adaptation help them to blend with their surroundings so that 
other animals cannot spot and kill them for food if they if they change themselves according to the surroundings so predator that cannot easily identify it right prey ko easily identify nahi kar pata hai right so that type of animals are called camouflage um i can give you example of uh, Camouflage. Camouflage is the best example of camouflage. Kaki ro, kaji ro. What we are going to pronounce in Gujarati, right? इतनी बड़ी उसकी tail होती है. वो leaves में होता है तो it converts into green color. वो trunk में होता है तो it converts into brown color. Leaf frogs and scorpion fish change their appearance to match their surroundings. लीफ फ्रॉक्स भी होते हैं और स्कॉर्पियन फिश भी होती है तो वो भी अपनी लीफ के कलर में इजीली चेंज कर देते हैं राइट तो कोई भी प्रीडेटर उसको आइडेंटिफाई कर पाता नहीं है अस्टिक इंसेक्ट लुक्स लाइक अ ट्वीक और अ लीफ और अ प्लांट दिस कैमोफ्लेज हेल्प्स देम टू स्टे सेफ फ्रॉम देयर प्रीडेटर स्टिक इंसेक्ट होता है वो ट्वीक ट्वीक मतलब कि कोई भी लीफ का जो स्टैम होता है ना ब्राउन कलर का इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ अट्वी तो वो अपने प्रीडेटर से बचने के लिए वो अपना कलर चेंज कर देता है तो ट्वीक और दैट लीफ इंसेक्ट को कोई आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर पाता है वो ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर दिखते हैं राइट A herd or of zebras looks like a mass of black and white streaks rather than individual animals from a distance. Zebras की white and black streaks होती है ना तो दूर से कोई भी animal को लगेगा कि it is a kind of a road या तो फिर दूर से strip ही दिखाई देंगे तो वो easily identify predator को होगा नहीं और वो अपने आप को बचा सकता है. A polar bear has white fur that helps it to merge with the color of surrounding eyes. A polar bear, उसके fur 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 जो होते हैं fur fur मतलब its outer body which covers with some kinds of fur रुचा रुचा जो होता है, it is of white color. तो eyes भी white color का होते हैं. तो eyes और that polar bear में कोई भी easily identify होता नहीं तो तो वो इजीली प्रीडेटर से बच सकता है अ कैमेलियन चेंजेस इट्स कलर टू ब्लैंड विद द सराउंडिंग एज आई गिवन एग्जांपल ऑफ कैमोफ्लेज ऑफ ऑफ कैमेलियन राइट सो इट इज चेंजिंग इटसेल्फ अकॉर्डिंग टू द सराउंडिंग अ कटल फिश हैज एन इंक सैक ऑन इट्स बॉडी ऑन सेंसिंग डेंजर इट रिलीजेस द इंक व्हिच मेक द वाटर Water around it blue in color. The enemy is unable to see the fish in colored water, and the fish swims away away to safety. Cuttlefish is a very interesting fish. Huh? When when she feels some kind of danger, what then she is doing? She just released ink type substance from its body. ये अपनी body में से ink जैसा substance वो release कर देती है. उससे क्या होता है द कलर ऑफ वाटर इज चेंजेस वो एक चेंज हो जाता है कन्वर्ट इन टू डार्क ब्लू तो उसका कोई भी एनी नहीं होता है वो डार्क ब्लू कलर में वो उसको देख नहीं पाता है तो वो पाँच छः सेकेंड में इजिली वहाँ से भाग जाते हैं तो वो प्रीडेटर से बच जाते हैं राइट अ बफर फिश इन फ्लैक्स द बॉडी टू ट्वाइस इट साइज वेल फेस्ड विथ डेंजर देर फोर इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द बलून फिश It then looks like a spherical ball with spins all over which helps it to stay safe from the predator. Puffer fish होती है जो बहुत ही बड़ी साइज में होती है and it is covered with some spins. उसकी body में spins होते हैं और वो बड़ी साइज की होती है. तो with the with their spins she easily can save वो easily बच सकती है अपने predator से. So these are the special adaptations which is adapted by animals to protect themselves. Clear? I hope so. You understand these four topics. Now, in next session, I am going to explain you about adaptations in behavior and adapt 
uh, and animals in nature. And then after, I'll explain you student's book exercise also, right? So here we completed our session number four. Now, in next, uh, sorry, I I sent you some PDF of this session. Try to answer it by your own self. Now answer Dina. If you need help, then use textbook. Okay. Do it with good handwriting. If you need scale, use it. Uh, without your good handwriting, I will check your book. Okay. So do it with good handwriting, and it is easy to read when your exam is. आपके दिमाग में एग्जाम आती है तब क्या करते हो तब कुछ समझ में नहीं आता है तो अच्छे राइटिंग में होगा तो आपको समझ में आ जाएगा ओके सो सी यू इन नेक्स्ट सेशन के